Thank you for joining Brothers of the Word because, brother, you need the Word. We welcome all of you joining us by television and those of you joining us at airjesus.com. Stay tuned to today's message. Always delighted to have you tune in with us. We'd like to read just a little humor that I uh, came across this week. A man and his wife walked into a dentist's office. The man said to the dentist, Doc, I'm in a one big hurry. I have two buddies sitting out in my car waiting for us to go play golf, so forget about the anesthetic and just pull the tooth and be done with it. We have a 10 a.m. tea time at the best golf course in town and it's 9.30 already. I don't have time to wait for the anesthetic to work. The dentist thought to himself, my goodness, this is surely a very brave man to ask to have his tooth pulled without anesthetics to kill the pain. So the dentist asked him, which tooth is it, sir? The man turned to his wife and said, open your mouth, honey, and show him. <laughs> Open your Bibles, if you will, to the book of Proverbs, the book of Proverbs. Us golfers can relate to that, so. <laughs> the book of Proverbs chapter 3, the book of Proverbs chapter 3. And let's read verse 33, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 33. When you get there, say Amen. Let's read verse 33, Proverbs 3, verse 33, together in unison. Ready? Read. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. And I want to also read that from the Amplified Bible. The Amplified Bible says the curse of the Lord is in and on the house of the wicked, but he declares joyful and favored with blessings the home of the just and consistency, consistently righteous. But he declares blessed and joyful the home of the just and consistently righteous. And I just want to use as a subject, keys to a happy home. I like something that Greg Laurie said. He said, one of my greatest challenges as a husband and father is to live out in my home what I proclaim in the pulpit. In active careers, including the ministry, you can be out there trying to save the world, yet lose your own home. And that's so true. That is so true that if there is anywhere God wants us to be happy and blessed, I truly believe that it's, it's at home. His blessing, his joy is to be on us at home. I'd also like to read another scripture. Uh, flip over to Proverbs chapter 24. Proverbs chapter 24, Proverbs chapter 24 and verse uh, 3 and 4, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3 and 4. Let's read uh, those two there, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3 and 4. Read together in unison with me. Through wisdom is an house builded and by understanding it is established, and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. It lets us know that a happy home, having a happy home is not something that happens by accident. It's not something that just happens coincidentally, but to have a happy home is something that is something that is done with intention, something that happens on 
purpose. Um, this verse here in the Amplified Bible, Proverbs 24, 3 and 4, it reads this way. It says, through skillful, through skillful, notice that, through skillful and godly wisdom is a house, a life, a home, a family built. And by understanding, it is established on a sound and a good foundation. And by knowledge shall the chambers of its every area be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. So it lets us know that it, it takes skill to, to build a home, a, a family, uh, a life. And, you know, I would liken that into actually building the physical structure of a house. Not just anybody can go out and build a house. I'm talking about the physical structure, the, the physical frame. That, how many of you know that takes some skill? You have to know what you're doing. You know, you, gotta, you have to be able to uh, prepare the foundation and lay that foundation. It, it, takes, it takes some skill. It takes skill to be able to go out and frame a house and to build it. Not many people know how to do it. And likewise, it takes skill to build a home, to build a family. And this is what the Bible says. It, it, you don't just haphazardly do it. You do it on purpose. You do it with intention. You do it with skill. You do it with some knowledge. Um, some things have to be carried out in order for it to be properly built. And so you need skill. Say you need skill. skill. Say you need the wisdom of God. Say you need... Solid, godly principles. Those are three things that I really feel that these verses let us know. You need skill to build a happy home. You need the wisdom of God to build a happy home. You need solid, godly principles to build a happy home. Let's look at some keys here I want to share with you. Keys to having a happy home. Key number one. Key number one. Make your family a priority. Make your family a priority. My father had as his mantra for years, God first, family second, business, career, job, third. Key number two, key number two, key number two, express love and appreciation often. Express love and appreciation. You know, sometimes when, you, when you've been with a family, been together with somebody for a long time, you tend to take them for granted. And in fact, sometimes you can even get tired of them. Try not to move too much and nobody will know I'm talking about you. <laughs> but one of the keys to having a happy home is, is to express love and appreciation often. Be happy to see one another. And there are some things that, are, that really happens when you are appreciative and grateful for your family. I, I found three things that happen. Number one, you are more generous and helpful. When you truly value and appreciate, celebrate your family, it does something to you, you become more generous and helpful because you're now you're not taking them for granted. You're celebrating them every day. You are appreciating them. You become more generous and helpful. Number two, you become more empathetic. You, you're quicker to, to understand their perspective. You, you are more understanding. You are able to put yourself in their shoes. So your perspective is better when you celebrate and appreciate and you're truly grateful for your family. You're more understanding. You're more understanding. Number three, you're more flexible. You're more adaptable. When you truly appreciate, 
recognize the value of your family and celebrate them every day, you're more adaptable. You're more flexible. 